In this clip, we are going to define a resource unit of measure and runtime for the new cutting machine resource master record. We have already allocated a resource group and cost definitions for this master record and defined the issue method. As opposed to items, resources have capacity available throughout a period of time that can be consumed in a production process. In this resource master record for this cutting machine, we are going to define a unit of measure, which will be defined in cycles. This unit of measure is text only. It has no specific impact on functionality, like an item unit of measure. We will then define the time per resource unit as one hour. The time per resource units field is totally independent and has nothing to do with the capacity calculation via the resource allocation field. The resource units per time period will be four. The capacity of this resource is measured in cycles and the quantities in the bill of materials are also measured in cycles. It takes 15 minutes for the machine to run one cycle. Therefore, in the bill of material that we will define, to produce one final product, we need one cycle, which is 0.25 units of this resource. Under the General tab, we then define our resource allocation, which will be start date forwards. This means that the resource allocation begins at the beginning of the production order header start date for start date forwards allocation and at the end of the production order header due date for end date backwards allocation. Under the capacity tab, we are only interested in the capacity calculated for the general warehouse, so we can lock down the other warehouses and that will also affect the resource capacity window. We have now defined a resource unit of measure and runtime for the new cutting machine resource master record. We have also defined the warehouse in which the capacity will be calculated.